In this video, we will practice dimensioning the exterior of a structure in AutoCAD utilizing the Align Dimension style. This video is relevant for the Mac computer. A different video demonstrates this tutorial on a PC computer in AutoCAD. It is important that you set up the Align Dimensioning style for this tutorial. To set up the Annotative Dimension and Text style, watch the video entitled Setting up the AutoCAD Architecture Dimension Style. Whether you are following along in the Kendall Hunt publication book entitled Digital Production Practices for Designers, or if you are taking this class in person, you will need to download the following AutoCAD drawing file, dimensioningpractice.dwg. If you have not yet watched the video for setting up the Align Dimension Style in AutoCAD, you will need to do that first before starting this assignment. Before we start the actual practice assignment, we will look at how to dimension simple objects. We will need to export the dimension style that we created for this assignment into a different DWG CAD file. In AutoCAD, it is easy to share dimension and text styles among different files. First, open the file that contains the dimension style you created. We will next create a dummy dimension that we can use an example to export. Use the dim linear command to create a dimension line. At the command line, type dim linear. Return enter key. Pick on any two points on the drawing, and in this case it doesn't matter what the dimension reference is. After you pick two points, move your mouse in an upward direction until you see the extension lines of the dimension appear. Pick a point on the screen to end the command. Next, grip the dimension. Go to the Edit pull-down menu to copy. If you are on a PC, you can simply grip the object, and then choose the shortcut key combination, Control c and then the Enter key on the keyboard. Once you have the dimension copied to the computer copy clip, open a previous assignment, such as the base cabinet file. Now paste the dimension style into the base cabinet drawing. On a Mac, go to the Edit pull-down menu to paste. On a PC, choose the shortcut key combination for Paste, which is Ctrl-V on the keyboard. Place the dimension anywhere in the file. You have now imported the dimension and text style into this AutoCAD file. Remember to copy and paste dimension and text styles from one file to another file to avoid having to format the dimension style every time you begin a new drawing. Once you have imported the aligned dimension style you created, go to the Dim Style dialog box to make that the current dimension style. Erase or delete the dimension you pasted into the file. This will not delete the dimension style. Conduct a quick save in AutoCAD, which is Command S on a Mac or Control S on a PC. Make sure that the OSNAP command has the following settings. Endpoint, midpoint, intersection, and perpendicular are checked. Make sure that the F3 function key is also toggled on. Let's begin by making sure that the cabinets are placed evenly on a construction line. At the command line type, Excel, return, enter key. Choose the horizontal construction line option. Pick on the bottom left endpoint of the first cabinet. Use the Move command to position each cabinet onto the horizontal construction line. Copy the construction line 6 feet below the first line. At the command line type, Copy, Return, Enter key. Pick on the construction line. Choose a base point, which should be the bottom, left corner of the first cabinet. Indicate the direction you want to copy the line by moving the mouse down, but do not pick yet. Instead, type six feet, return, enter key. Use the move command to align the bottom row of cabinets to the copied construction line. Now use the copy command again to copy each construction line one at a time. At the command line type, copy, return, enter key. Pick on the top construction line, return, enter key. Pick a base point anywhere on the construction line. 
Drag the mouse in a downward direction but do not pick a point. Instead, type 8 inches. Return. Enter key. This is the construction line for aligning the dimensions. Next, make sure that the A dimensions layer is the current layer. At the command line type, layer, return, enter key. Choose A dimensions from the pull down menu list to make current. Since this is an annotative dimension style, we need to match the annotation size to the viewport scale of the drawing. And in this instance, the drawing viewport scale is one half inch equals one foot zero inches. We are now ready to add simple dimensions to the cabinets. Locate the dimension panel on a Mac. If you are on a PC, you will want to locate the annotate ribbon. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard commands that work in both AutoCAD PC and Mac versions of the software. In the past, you may have relied on the quick dimension feature, which is an excellent time saver in the dimensioning process. At the command line type, QDIM, return, enter key. Let's look at two different instances of using the quick dimension command. When dimensioning any regular object line, such as this rectangle, the quick dimension command works well. However, as you can see in the next example, this command is not effective when trying to dimension a block of information. When dimensioning blocks, I recommend using the linear dimension command. Locate the linear dimension command, or at the command line type, dim linear, return, enter key. Pick on each of the endpoints of the first cabinet. Use the construction line as the landing place for the architectural tick marks of each dimension. When you are done with all of the width dimensions, add one vertical dimension to each row of the cabinets to indicate the cabinets are typical in height. Delete all of the construction lines. Be sure not to pick on a part of the construction line that is shared with a dimension because you do not want to accidentally delete one of the dimensions. Once your drawing is cleaned up, then conduct a quick save of the file. We will next create the sheet in paper space. Pick on the plus symbol in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. This will bring up the page setup manager. If you have this option set up in the AutoCAD option settings, under the gear symbol, select edit. Go through the standard process of setting up the drawing sheet, as described in a previous lesson. Grip the viewport line. Change the viewport layer to a non-plotting layer such as def points.
pick on the grips and enlarge the viewport to accommodate all of the objects from model space. You may need to toggle off the O-Snap, F3, function key on your keyboard to be able to move the viewport grips if you find the O-Snap magnets getting in the way of modifying the viewport. While the viewport is still selected by the grips, go to the Drawing Scale menu, located in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Choose the following scale. 1 half inch equals 1 foot 0 inches. Pick the Escape, ESC key on the keyboard to deselect the viewport. Make sure that the current layer is set to 8 dimensions. Next, add text using the single line text command. At the command line, type dtext, return enter key. Pick a point below the viewport. Input the title bar text size, which is 3 16 Return enter key. Type 0 for the rotation angle. Make sure the caps lock is turned on. Type the following Base cabinet library. Return enter key. Return enter key again to end the command. Using the line command, draw a line at least as long as the title bar name and length. Next, add the scale designation for the drawing below the title bar line. At the command line, type dtext, return enter key. Pick a point below the title bar line. Type a new text height, which is 332nd inches. The rotation angle is zero. Type the following. One half inch equals one foot hyphen, zero inches. Return enter key twice. Repeat the dtext command to add your name to the sheet, as you see me demonstrate. Conduct a quick save of the file. The last step is to save this sheet as a PDF file. This ends part one of the practice dimension exercise.